Becca, and welcome to The Carriage House, a place where you can find cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. I'm in our kitchen on this beautiful late afternoon and getting ready to make dinner for everyone. And I'm making these delicious chicken tostados with avocado and a tangy carrot slaw. I'll also be making a simple and easy homemade pico de gallo. So last week, I spent an afternoon looking through all of my cookbooks that I haven't done in quite some time now. And I found one book that I love in particular and just spent some time looking through it, getting to know it once again. There's something about reading and looking at an actual recipe through a real book than online. It just seems like a whole different experience that can really be enjoyed and can delight our senses in a much different way. The calming sound of a page being turned, the distinctive touch with our hands, and it actually can be quite therapeutic in a way. So I preheated my oven to 375 degrees and started making the coating for the chicken. And I'm using one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, which I love. I love the strong, earthy, and slightly spicy flavor of cumin. And you can find it either freshly ground or as whole seeds. And then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of kosher salt that I like to keep in this little vintage salt filler here. And then I will add two teaspoons of chili powder, which I accidentally didn't film me doing. <laughs> but I love the deep red color of chili powder and the aromatic and savory spice that it gives. So then I'm going to add two teaspoons of canola oil. I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description down below. And go in to toss and coat three to four boneless, skinless chicken breasts evenly with the oil and the spice mixture. You're going to need about two pounds of chicken total. And then I'll arrange the chicken on a baking sheet and bake for about 25 minutes or until opaque throughout. attention to the tangy carrot and lettuce slaw and I'm going to begin by washing my carrots. I'm going to need about one cup of peeled and shredded carrots. Now ours aren't quite ready in the garden yet but I'm looking forward to the simple joy of just pulling those hidden carrots out of the earth and discovering their bright orange color once again. So after I harvested some fresh lettuce and cilantro from our garden, I came back inside, washed them, took the chicken out of the oven, and started chopping the remaining ingredients for the slaw. Here in Iowa, we have a really short growing season, so I can't wait to see everything come alive this summer. There's something wonderfully gratifying about gardening. It involves exercise, which is good, 
mindfulness, delicious and healthy food, and just by bringing intention and reflection into reaping what we sow, gardening can provide a window into our own life. And when you garden, it's easy to see that giving and receiving at work. Okay, so I whisked together two tablespoons of olive oil and one tablespoon of cider vinegar in my bowl. And I seasoned it with just a pinch of salt and, and freshly ground pepper. And then I'm going to add my fresh lettuce, carrots, and cilantro and going to toss to mix and coat really well. And you can always adjust the seasonings if you like, but I find that it's really important to dry lettuce completely before adding oil and vinegar. Otherwise the dressing will slide directly off the lettuce, which you don't want. And just gonna set it aside to let the flavors mellow a little and ready to make some fresh pico de gallo. So I'm using five Roma tomatoes that I rinsed and going to dice them. And I cannot wait for our homegrown tomatoes to come in, but they do not start ripening, at least here in Iowa, usually around August, which is so late, even when we plant them after the, la the last frost. But there's nothing quite like a freshly ripe tomato that's been homegrown. And there's so many varieties and heirlooms to choose from. And now I'm just going to take a little time to enjoy chopping the remaining ingredients, which is going to be a sweet red onion, a spicy jalapeno, freshly minced garlic, freshly squeezed lime juice, a bit of salt and pepper to taste, and of course some more cilantro. And again, I will leave the recipe all down below. So now that the pico de gallo is made, I fried up some corn tortillas in hot oil about two minutes per side or until golden brown and about, I guess, two per person, maybe one for the young ones. So I made about 10 and you can certainly use store-bought tostados as well, but there's something about the, the homemade the homemade ones and this can certainly be transformed into a vegetarian meal just omit the chicken and use the beans that I'm using and heating up and I just simply season them with a little salt and pepper and I finally shredded the chicken and put it on the tostadas along with the tangy slaw and pico de gallo and my avocado wasn't ripe so I wasn't able to use that and then I did top everything with a little bit of cojita cheese but I hope you enjoy this recipe. It's great for summertime. And until next time, I'm wishing everyone well and thank you so much for stopping by and take care, my dear friend.